Hello, this Nut, and welcome to Mo Ponies, episode 30. Golly, this one took a while to you know, eventually come out. And, um, wait, is that. Is that Earthbound music? Um. Yeah, yeah that, that is Earthbound music. Oh, wait, of course. All right, over here. No, my right. Your left. And another direction. Add another direction that way, don't you? Okay, perfect. It's really nice of you to help out on the day off. No worries, I get cabin fever if I stay inside for too long. Besides, how are you going to move these old comics around? The old shop isn't exactly far from me, I could have managed. Although it's nice to have someone around for the christening. Christening? From a new shop location in central Philadelphia. Yeah, we've, we've, we've got a nice view of the skyline from here. Yeah, through the dark, dank alley was um, situated in. Hey, this place is really easy in the wallet. So you can break a ball of cider around here or something? Nah, they ain't got, ain't gonna do anything fancy like that. We're gonna use a traditional Philadelphia hot dog. A hot dog? Cooked, well done, and covered in mustard and horseradish. So you're gonna throw it at the wall and call it a day? Of course not. Oh, you had me there for a second. I'm gonna throw it at the ceiling. Seriously? Don't look at me like that. You you volunteered. Anyway, you want to pick up the hot dog for me? Yeah, sure, why not? So yeah, this is Spike's Day Off. Um, yeah. Okay, of course, this episode took a while because, um, you know, it's difficult to get games. There was like two games I found and they were both 3D and the computer was too crap. Well, the graphics card was too crap. Everything else is fine. Anyway, yeah. So I wonder how the slideshow like that, like, tri how Slideshow like Trixie makes ends meet. Well, you see, um, uh, it, stage music musicians and that, like, tend to have a bit of a sort of, um, egotistical sort of persona on stage, and it tends to work out in their favour because of that. So, anyway, uh, sometimes I need to go out at night and burn down posters. Ah, I'm just trying to come for that. Hey kid, what can I do for you? One Philadelphia hot dog other than mustard and horseradish. Cooked well done. The grill's full right now, you're gonna have to wait for a bit. No worries, I can take care of it. There you go, dragon fired hot dogs. Whoa, completely convenient ability. Here you go. Huh? Um, you saw that too, right? Ugh, not again. Again? Yeah, that happens every now and then. Usually around lunchtime. Food disappears, just poof, disappears just like that. Even the restaurants around here are having the same problem. Oh, it's a completely convenient setback. That can't be good for business. Tell me about it. This keeps up, I'll remove the green of ashes. How can I help you find out what's going on? Well, that's my fun. As far as street food goes, this has me stumped. Oh, I've, I'll find out what's too steam with your hot dog with my fire breath. I'll find my breath Z. Oh, oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. She wants to burn down posters. I can burn things. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's obvious, obvious where this is going. Oh, hey. Post the hole. Who dares enter the lair of the great and powerful? Trixie? Why are you living in that anyway? Intruders do not ask questions, dragon. And Trixie is not at liberty to discuss that. So, right, sorry. Um, you didn't happen to have eaten a hot dog. No! Trixie does not use hot dogs for consumption! But what does Trixie use them for? Throwing? 
from a ceiling. Here does all the range. She uses them for housewarming christenings. Nothing too fancy, right? I'm guessing you're the one who's been stealing food. Trixie would never stoop to petty thievery. But you already are. Not unless Trixie absolutely needs to. As you can see, my wagon has seen better days. And so has my purse. It doesn't help that Trixie's been li out of living quarters too. Ah, uh, and looks like the, the wagon's on the blocks? Huh, I did not notice that. Can't imagine why anyone would kick you out. That landlord in Cantalot simply does not know good talent. Perhaps if Trixie found a way to destroy that security system. I don't think you'd make them take you back, Trixie. Maybe if you tell the landlord of Cantalot of Trixie's plights. You'll cease the meagre life of hot dog stealing? Of course! No more cold alleyway nights! Also be a deer and pick up another poster for, to cover that hole. How am I gonna get the candle off? Fist? Huh? Princess Luna? The guy who couldn't help with the eavesdrop with her diet, but... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with that. This has been like a million, billion, trillion years since I've actually seen an episode, jeez. Not because I, like, stopped, dropped into the chest or anything, it's like, you know, I'll get around to it. I've watched some of the, one of the seasons, I can't remember which one. Which season is on? <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway. I could not help but eavesdrop on thy adventures, young squire. Shades. You seem to be in need of assistance. It's been a strange day, princess. Then hold on to your socks, as it were. Because it's about to get dreamy. Where am I? Thou art in the world of dreams, young Spike. It is the world. It's from here you can travel to different places. And through my magic transports you in the waking world. Awesome. I could go where I need to. Yeah, I need to go find people, right? I'm paying attention. Anyway, I don't recognize this music from Earthbound, so... Dang it, I don't think I really played all the way through Earthbound, so who knows? Maybe this is Earthbound music I just haven't encountered yet. Spike, I didn't know you were in Cantaloupe. Yeah, I just dropped in. While well, I gave you the day off? Well, it's kind of stretching at this point. By the way, I didn't know you were in the comments before. I actually hired, got hired the other day since the owner disappeared. First food, now ponies are disappearing? Yeah, it's kind of strange, especially since he lives across the street. It's only a fine minor footnote than working here. I don't really call that minor. And it's good that you're here. I need to sign the, I need to have him help writing something. I got this thief that some like, fancy hats and bowling alleys. But in Cantalot, hats aren't in season right now, and bowling isn't exactly a Cantalot sport. What inspired you to write such a specific piece? When I was visiting Ponyville, I saw a great assortment of hats. Turns out those hats were trophy replacements for the champions of the bowling derby. Let me guess, you need a hat to finish your essay? Exactly, yes! I'll make it worth your while too. No, she'll know how to talk to a dragon, huh? By the way, do you, need, do you want to read some books with me? Nah, I think I'll pass. I'll waste an opportunity to learn, Spike. And that's exactly how you wake up employees on the clock. Wow, remedy. Okay. Did you want me to read you another one? No, I think I had enough knowledge for today. Okay. Why do I need to go over here? Huh. I could eat this, but I need something to tide me over. Okay, whatever. Ponyville! Hanging at the toilet. 
Okay, I, I definitely know this is from that fan. Yeah, probably. Uh, how they like up an employee on the clock? Oh yeah, I'll do what Moon Dancer taught me. Excuse me. And that's exact. And that's how you wake up employees on the clock. Wow, riveting. I know, right? Is there anything else you want me want to tell me, Smiley Pants? Oh yeah, do you mind if I look, look at that hat over there? The priceless Grand Champion hat. Wait, did the runaway five are running up, up for me here? Okay, whatever. Get to some magic proof stainless glass. That is the only worn by the true un chosen un true chosen undead. Lest they be cursed with un unending death. Um, yeah. Yeah, knock yourself out, kid. I got a spare right here. Uh, are you sure? Talking to you was the most riveting conversation I've had. And as long as I can get back to my nap. Okay, thanks. Well, that was good. That was easy. Well, that's it. That's one of the hats I saw in Ponyville. Here you go, and don't forget your payment. Oh, of course. Do you do all, all the time for Twilight all the time? All that and more, unfortunately. Don't worry, Spike. Indentured servitude isn't that bad. When you put it like that, I'm teasing. It's funny that you're doing this on your day off. <laughs> yeah, funny. They now gobble stuff on eggs. Okay. Eat the stand. Okay. Hello, anyone there? Who's there? What happened to the security system? The system's not hungry dragon proof apparently. I wanted to talk to you about Trixie, the pony kicked out. Trixie? That main that man needs to learn some proper pronouns. Huh? Pronouns? I couldn't get any sleep of her around. So I've always said, said always setting off her fireworks and doors and scaring off tenants. Let's she's not doing so well on the streets. You think you could cut out a deal for me? Uh, I've been losing sleep around that, but I get less sleep on the gilly conscious. So you take her back? Yeah, here, give her this contract. Tell her she can move, come back here. This could be a big mistake, you know. I could say no, or I could say yes when I was right, when it was right to. Okay. There we go over here. Burn another tro poster. What? I got a roof over your head. Oh, happy day! Trixie is no longer homeless! Maybe you could do a landlord a favor when you get back. And let her get, let her get a few hours of sleep. What do you tell to her? But perhaps Trixie could practice more sparsely from now on. And a girl. There you go, solved the hot dog problem. Okay. Don't even know what disappearing food from now on. You really found out what's happening? It's a long story, dude. I'll take your word for it. Here's another one in the house. There you go. Finally got the hot dog. This should be called Hot Dog Quest. Listen, you, know, you travel all across all of. Did you travel across all of Equestria or something? You're out all day. Listen, we, we doing this or not? Alright, Mr. Krabby. Here it is. Hold on. What? Maybe you should do any of this. But it's your store, and I need some. Had some help setting it up. Thanks. Oh, okay. What? Three, two. I ain't not even gonna see it happen. What a cop out. Oh uh, yeah, I, I couldn't tell that. You know, Earthbound was responsible for the music here. Uh, yeah, um, next game! Now for a game in 3D that DOES agree with my graphics card. Oh. There we go. Yes, um, good for you. Twilight Escape from Stalingrad. A, um, a Wolfenstein edit. There we go, because I'm a wimp. Also because I have like no experience in like in this game, and to be honest, if I didn't find that other game, 
I was originally playing on like, you know, actually properly playing Wolfenstein on this channel before playing this game. But hey, I suppose it's a bit late for that now, ain't it? I mean, yeah, I should try to play back a bit of this, you know, to see if it worked. Um, not, not as in like, oh, will, will my computer be able to run freaking Wolfenstein? No, it's really more of a, you know, like, does whatever voodoo magic they used to get this to work on modern systems still hold up? I don't mean still hold up, though. It's, it's a beta and it's probably still being worked on. Maybe. Yeah. But it's edgy as hell, I can tell you that. Eesh. But then again, you know, that this this channel had like story of the planks on it. Like like I don't know. If if you can still trust my pony videos after Story of the Planks, then and that dead space game, yeah. Then quite frankly, you know, you really need to like I don't know. Learn something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, even shooting up dogs. And let's see. Hang on. And there's a thing called push walls in these games. Huh. Apparently, there's an intruder. How'd he get in? In through the window! <laughs> Cracks me up every time. Yeah, look at that. That wonderful resolution picture that probably didn't need to have the colors taken away. Alright, I'll pull something again. Oh, yeah. Push wall. Oh, and a gun. I mean, a, a different gun. Now, well, basically, everyone's doomed. There we go. Nope, no secrets here. Okay. What else? Do I, do I really need to be running everywhere? Oh, whatever. Run everywhere. That's how I play Doom. That's how I play this. Okay. Gotta get all the pickups. Gotta get that. That. The, well, that's high school. Right. Cool. Yeah. Why the hell am I just shooting at nothing? Getting a bit jumpy, apparently. Huh, toxic barrels just lying around. Needs a key, huh? Alright, fine. Find your precious key. Of course. An ambush. That or they're just not using what that is. Okay. Another room with a table thing on it. Books. Okay. Oh, finally something. Shit, what's with the intruder things? Is it sound like let me the echo on them? Oh well that's I mean obviously they had to get the sounds from somewhere else because otherwise they'd be yelling in German. And they'd be all like, my vegan! I should think it means like my life or something. Oh. Eh, what, what do you expect? I'm, exact, I'm not exactly an expert in the German language, to be honest. Yeah, killed everyone. Now loading. Oh, 
Well, I mean, so I'm now try finding this intruder. No, why I'm the intruder, aren't I? So I mean, I, I, while I said I haven't exactly been keeping up with the, the series, don't worry. I know what's going on here. Except, yeah, it's, it's that, 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 um... It's that city that was essentially a cult. That episode. I mean, I, I really, really was not expecting this series to have them go up against a cult. Like an actual freaking cult. With complete a brain... Like the you know, like mind breaking room and everything, you know. You know, like oh, you've gone against the order or the, the cult, uh, our thing, whatever. Now you've got to be, you know, put in isolation with, you know, this droning message. I don't know. I I, I was not expecting that. Um, right. So yeah, enough, of, enough about me trying to remember this episode I saw ages ago. Uh, and to try and remember the, the cult details of it. Huh, okay, this Yes. I mean, it'd be nice if it could work. If there was a way to tell which key went to which door, but eh. Hmm. Okay. I'm missing some in here. Okay, I'm gonna need to check that map. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected a map to look like. Okay. Huh. Door over here, huh? Except that's locked. Okay, fine. Um. Huh. Well, there's, um. Ah! Over there! Yeah. This, this place over here, I haven't really explored over here yet. So, you know, if I remember correctly, that, that basically had their special talents taken away, so everyone could be equal. Oh, and yeah, like I said, I, and of course in, um, in typical cult fa fashion, you know, the leader of the cult is of course, you know, more equal than others. And that, you know, she actually gets to keep a bloody talent. Although, then again, to be fair, she probably wouldn't be able to strip away other people's talents. Oh, no, I know, I know, I'm not gonna use the, the pronouns of the show. But, oh, she, yeah, she wouldn't be able to take away other people's talents if, well, you know, like, uh, didn't have magic, I guess. Because, yeah, that stick was a big fat phony. Damn it. I want a knife. Knife is the most useless. Okay, I can't, I, I get, I can do this. Oh, and I'm dead. Okay, next game. Oh, hey. This is basically a sequel to the other game, isn't it? And it looks like Spike is busy again. I not music game. I don't know what the game is this, um... Music's been taken from. Come on. Oh, more Earthbound! <laughs> of course. <laughs> what else would it be? Hmm, I really got it from Twilight. Got what? Well, who said that? I did. Hey, remember me from when you. Yeah, I, I remember you from Manhattan. Manhattan. Yeah, I'm Spike. What are you doing here, Coco Pommel? I'm here for Onicon Subculture Con Convention today. 
I thought you would have noticed all the ponies and cosplay. Why are you here for it too? Oh, no, I got lost. I didn't know it was a convention out here. Well, it's good that you're here. Could you help me out of this thing? I'm actually here to work at an event later today. And I'm supplying these replica suits of armor for it. You made this? I thought you were just a costume designer. I work on commission. I even made some on the spot fixes for a few ponies here. I can't help but feel responsible for all the costumes here. And one was already falling apart. But there's already rest the rest of the armory to go back home and I need to finish it. Nothing a little foam and glue won't fix, right? Sounds like a busy schedule for you. Did uh, you need some help with that? Oh, I can't ask, ask you for help. Besides, I'm not. I'm sure your friends need you more than I do. No, they don't. Yeah, geez, Mike. <laughs> They'll be fine without me. Is, is that wrong? Actually, I need a gift for some pony. Now you mention it, I might need need some assistance at the event. Blah. Not being able to read very well today, am I? I blame this font. Yeah, when in doubt, blame the font. Yeah, anyway, employees get get a free ticket for any to any bridal show. That's perfect. Twilight loves musicals. Where is it? It's inside the convention center, up the stairs. But you need to get a badge to get inside. Sure, I can join you. Thanks. Here's something for you. It's a fan. You got a fancy looking hat. Press X to equip it and see to take it off. It's a hat for Vic Nailentine cosplayer to work on. It's supposed to be a reference or something. I don't get it. Wearing it will make you look inconspicuous. And you'll be able to overhear other ponies' conversations. Sometimes eavesdropping on ponies can help you do things. It might even help you be more stealthy too. I'll put it to good use. Oh, look at the time. I need to go back to work. See you at the Alicorn Princess Tea Party later. Wait, what? Set X and C. Wait, it's that hat from before! <laughs> of course there's a Deadpool and a Harley. And I think it's a um, typical thing. There should be a convention for waiting in lines. I need a badge again, but I'm not about to wait in line all day. Stomach growl. Okay. Please telephone. Free public. I don't know, they still have these. Yeah. It's just to do standard police box. Pretty sure the, the, the guy next to me stole my waffle cones. Hey, hot dog. Don't worry, it's vegan! Yeah, and I bet it also crossfits and it vapes. Got, got a free waffle cone if I hadn't you? Yeah. So of course it's still stealing food going on. Cardboard boxes are the highest form of stealth. So, cardboard boxes are the highest form of stealth. I could totally snatch that hot dog off the counter over there. Okay. And they said that I couldn't barbecue corn. Yeah, well, they are losers for telling you no. Pay no mind of the flashing lights on the truck. Okay. Yeah. Name any exotic flavor I got it here. Um. Okay, now, now I can't think of any any flavor of anything ever now. Wait, who the heck wanted a hot dog? Hmm. 
Oh, whatever. Oh yeah, of course, you are, you are hungry. Trixie should really eat breakfast instead of wait for lunch. And um, Trixie? Grumble. How may Trixie help you, convention goer? Are you working here? Wait a minute, you're that dragon from back in Philadelphia. Well, um, well, you'll be glad to know that Trixie is now li living back in Cantalot. I can see that you picked up your day job since then. This is only temporary employment for the weekend. It's not like Trixie was strong-armed into being here. Uh -huh. Anyway, by the way, did you want something to eat? I could hear your stomach grow across the street. Food? For me? Yeah, here's a hot dog for you. Yeah, you know that thing I spent all an entire game trying to get once. Trixie, are you okay? You're hired. What? I mean, I, mean, I could use some extra claws for staff here. We could even get you inside for free too. It's not like Trixie is extremely grateful for your kindness. Oh, uh, thanks. The convention's sponsor is a blue booth over there. You can get a badge from her. Alright, I'll check it out. It's bigger on the inside, isn't it? Who turned out the lights? Spike! Yes? That's... Spike? Don't you dare step out that door. This isn't funny. You have to tell... You have to tell me what's wrong. Did you find something to offend you? Did I do something to offend you? Yes. Huh, huh. Spike. Wait, what? Is, is, is that? Uh, you might want to watch the entrance there. They're in a pocket dimension. It may be temporarily unstable. Are you right? I'm okay. Yeah, it's actually quite quaint in here. Wait, Princess Celestia? <laughs> yeah. It's a nice surprise to see you too. And please, we're both at a convention to indulge yourselves. There's no need to defer to me. That's some um, nice cosplay? Oh, you wouldn't believe how hard it was to put this all together. It had to be original, but not out of character. But at least, but at least I had 12 outfits to choose from. But there was one problem. What was it? There were only three days at the convention. And I'm aware of them all, for the sake of law implications. So I decided to mash four outfits for each day. Genius, right? Yeah! <laughs> Plus, you know, who says the doctor wouldn't attempt to do that? Didn't mean to scribble that he is. Right. Thinking and not a good idea, princess. Doctor, excuse me? Are you trying to sponsor Trixie? Are you sponsor Trixie or something about? Ah, yes. Are you joining the, our staff today? Yeah, I spent sending to get my badge. Here you go. Welcome to the team. I got a staff badge. Careful. No replacements. Is this supposed to hint something? Now, oh, whatever. Now I can get outside the convention center. Before you go, here are the rules and regulations. Oh, boy. One. R E S P E C K. Respect for all fandoms. I don't think that's how you spell respect, because, you know, I mean, I have a song that says, uh, yeah, different. Because everyone is life outside the convention. Basic etiquette, okay. Two, have fun. Yeah. But how can I have fun if you're telling me to respect the Homestucks? Okay, here we are, um, people got a life outside the thing. I actually double tapped. Okay. That, that sleeping guy over there looks kind of thirsty. Okay. The lifeblood of conventions, the water fountain. So I gotta push. Huh? Can't can't approach this guy. Eh, whatever. Hey, it's you. 
Hey Spike, ready for the Alicorn Princess tea party? Hey, I want to sure recognize him now. Yeah, of course the guy, this guy isn't gonna work in a... Entry to the Alicorn Princess is only got... They're grounded to those in Alicorn cosplay. I've totally got that. I know the move, I lost a contact. I won't step in it. I hope Bulk downstairs isn't sleeping. Bort will wake him up. Oh my goodness, yeah. You got, gosh, yeah. AK yearly. How do you get here? Signing for an, isn't for another few hours. Also, I'm part of the staff and I was checking in. Is that so? You could, could you throw this out for me? Empty cup. All of the endless possibilities. I'll get this off you. So you're here for the convention too? No, I'm here for the Alicorn Princess PT party for later. But your sponsor heard, um, heard I was here and so she made a panel for me. What's up with that tea party anyway? It seems like a big deal. <laughs> you're on the long and short story, kid. Did you say you got a few hours? Cheeky. I hate cheeky. Do you see this on the table? That's the Alicorn Amulet. Got hired by some ponies running the tea party to find it. Turns out it doesn't like to stay in one place. Had to track it down from its former wearer first. You mean Trixie? Not one to turn on a job opportunity, that mare. You'll probably see her around, paying her debts. The employees wanted to see an authentic Alicorn artifact. Doesn't this belong in a museum or something? My thoughts exactly, kid. Yeah, I get it. it belongs in a museum. So wait, what did she say? I hope Bulk isn't downstairs. Oh, okay. Bul Bulgan? No, oh, come on. I can't just start, start stealing other people's stuff. Alright, here goes. Water. Give me that. Gulp. Yeah, I was not sleeping. I totally was not sleeping on the clock. Easy, bro. Sorry, dra little dragon. It's hard to keep track of the heat. Harder to stand here and stare at ponies. I bet it is. Anyway, I gotta check out the exhibit hall. Go on ahead. There we go. That was easy. Happy. Huh? I can feel the company's eyes on me. Shy guy. Hi, Fluttershy. It's there. Fluttershy, look up. Oh, hi, Spike. I thought I had to talk to strangers all day. Oh, did you make all these? Yeah, but I hadn't been able to sell anything yet. Oh, I get Fluttershy, a shy guy. Because. Uh, uh, I don't know. So, yes, but I haven't been able to sell anything all day. Are they not too overpriced? I don't think that's your problem here. How have you done this before? Oh no, this is actually my first time in Artist Alley. Normally I would be too scared to do this by myself. But I wanted to try this at least once. Well, you could at least practice this on me. Try and sell me something. Oh, okay. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Oh, dear. <laughs> Wah! Oh, I'm so sorry I froze up and I'm on the spot. Was that your stare just now? I guess it was. Maybe that's why Pony just ran away. Oh, shiver. I feel like something took a root to attempt to agree with me. You got the stare. When you stare at the abyss, the abyss stares back. Present to break objects. I'll be more careful from now. My stare is known to break things. I'd look this way and I'd walk away and it just goes up in smoke. You might want to get that checked. Can I ask you a favor, Fluttershy? Of course I've been here all day, what is it? Uh, could you make an Alicorn Princess bodysuit? Uh, for a friend! I'm working here today and I need it for a friend. It's a fine spike, I could make it, but I need a few materials. More fetch questing! That's it needs some kind of shape for the horn. Right, get a comb, got it. 
These models are so cool. It, no, too bad I don't get paid for this. Ah, can't just break everything. Okay. Can't describe how much jet lag I have right now. I wonder if there are any special guests today. Just stare at everything, see what happens. I wonder if the owner can give me these wings. Uh, I really need to talk to the manager about this power problem. Oh, I see, I gotta... That wasn't just the stylistic thing. Okay. That janitor over there looks like a clerk outside. I keep forgetting the manager's office is outside to the left. Okay. Well, better go off to the manager's office. Outside to the left. Um, wait, should I really be playing this far through? Yeah, I should probably stop now. So, you know, you can actually play this yourself and not just watch me go all the way through it again. So, um, yeah, I guess that that's three games for this episode then. Huh. Wait, do I think it's a stair on this? Oh, wait. So yeah, until next time, goodbye.